Hey YouTube, it's the Anderson here, bringing back my raw score after two years and two months to the day. And I'm Martin Luther King Day, no less. Let's look at this week's raw, shall we? The first match of the night between Shawn Michaels and Mr. Kennedy was definitely main event quality. I lolled when HPK wiped his butt with Kennedy's thrown shirt before the match. It was also funny how Kennedy bailed the ring when Michaels was about to hit him with sweet chin music. This match had a fair amount of technical moves, and early on, it later threw in some high risk moves as well. HPK took a real choice bump when he tried his elbow drop a second time, and Kennedy blocked it with his knees. The match ended with Michaels picking up the win with sweet chin music. It's a shame that this match was a curtain jerker, but it did start the night off strong. I give it a 7.5 out of 10 for a great opening match. After the HBK Kennedy match, we see Randy Orton talking to Vince about how he doesn't want to shake Jeff Hardy's hand later on tonight. Vince gave him a decent pep talk and was on to commercial. I give that about a 5.10 for an okay promo that had Vince acting as a father figure to Orton. The Beth Phoenix vs. Mickey James match was surprisingly good. I feel confident about the future of women's wrestling in the WWE. The match ended with the Glamazon putting a hanging fisherman suplex on James. I give that a 6.5 out of 10 for a really good women's match. Afterwards, Trips gave a short promo about his upcoming match to get into the Royal Rumble. It was pretty much, I'm gonna be in the Rumble, there's nothing anybody can do about it, but it was still good. He gave that one a 5.10 for a good, but fairly standard promo. After commercial, Hardcore Holly came on with a snappy comeback on these two wrestling noobs who I don't know. The quote of that night was, if anyone gets in my space, I'm gonna throw them out. 5.10 for a funny quip by Hardcore Holly of all people. The Randy Orton flashback really showed how far he's come. I lolled at the tights he wore in his debut match. 6.10 for a great flashback promo. We come back from commercial with a tag match pitting Finley and Hornswoggle against the Highlanders that was far too short. I still can't believe that Fit Finley's wrestling, but I am glad that he can still wrestle well. Hornswoggle won the match with a really sweet frog splash. 6.10 for a great, but way too short tag match. Back again from commercial, we see Chris Jericho being choked with a cable by JBL. So. JBL's wrestling again? And on Raw 2? I already knew that Jericho was back, but I didn't know about JBL. Anyway, Jericho enters the ring after the clip for a great promo. It really reminded me of Shawn Michaels' promo before he made a comeback at SummerSlam 2002. I give that one a 7 out of 10 for an excellent promo delivered with loads of confidence. After that, we see Vince talking to Jeff Hardy about how he should shake Orton's hand. Vince is obviously playing the instigator card here, and Hardy assured him that he will give them something to talk about. 4.10 for a short and pretty predictable promo. Ryan Kendrick's qualifying match for the Royal Rumble against Umaga was an utter pwn fest for Umaga. Kendrick pulled out some nice high-flying moves, but Umaga got the win with a Samoan spike. 4 out of 10 for a two-short match. A little bit after the match with Maria, Mickey James, Ashley, and some other guy who, uh, whose name I don't know was kind of funny. He really reminds me of Carlito as far as his arrogance goes. 5 out of 10 for a kinda funny bit of filler. After commercial, we see a clip of Vince on Celebrity Apprentice. Then we see King with 3D glasses on because apparently Raw's now in HD. Yay! Next, there was this uber sweet Jeff Hardy flashback promo with the song Rooftops by Lost Profits. Give that one a 6.5 out of 10 for Hardy's choice flashback promo and King with 3D glasses. Lol. Coming back from commercial, we have Carlito facing Hardcore Holly. This one seemed better suited for Sunday Night Heat, I think. Carlito got the win with the backstabber. I give that one a 4 out of 10 for another short and rather bland match. Back again from another commercial, we see a short clip of Triple H winning the 2002 Royal Rumble after coming back from his quad injury. There's a brief appearance of Mr. Perfect, rest in peace, being eliminated by Triple H. William Regal comes out to address Trips before his match and announces that his match is a gauntlet match against three people with Royal Rumble rules. First up is Snitsky, who lays into the game and comes close to eliminating, but is thrown over. Next is Mark Henry, who seems to slow down the match. Henry came very close to throwing Triple H over the top, but Trips beats him too. Finally is Regal himself, who unleashes a flurry of punches upon entering the ring. Despite all that, Triple H comes out on top and throws Regal over the top. I give that one a 5.5 out of 10 for a predictable match, but Regal's expression after Triple H beat Mark Henry was utterly priceless. Utterly, utterly priceless. After yet another commercial, Vince comes out and mentions that Raw's in HD and brings out Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy one at a time. Vince admits that their upcoming match at the Royal Rumble doesn't need any hype and wonders what's gonna happen. Orton gets on the mic and says that he underestimated Hardy and he has won Orton's respect. Hardy says that he doesn't doesn't care about Orton's respect, would rather shake other people's hand before Orton's. Then Hardy shakes JR, King, and Lillian's hand and goes out into the audience to shake various audience members' hands. Orton then offers his hand when Hardy gets back in the ring, and Hardy lays Orton out with a twist of fate instead. Despite Hardy's so-so mic skills, he made up for it with excellent audience interaction. I give that one an 8.5 out of 10 for Hardy's interaction with the audience. Well, it's been a long time since I really sat down and watched wrestling. I pretty much gave up on it since Benoit died, but after reading my old Raw scores, I decided to bring it back. Tonight's Raw was pretty good, but I feel that it was uh, rushed and trying to fit in way too much stuff. Also, having a commercial after just about everything didn't help matters either. Overall, I gave this week's Raw a 5.7 out of 10. See you next week. Andy San, out.